Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's tutorial, you'll learn how to record a bounce check in QuickBooks Online. There are multiple ways to do this, but I'll present what I believe is the most efficient while still maintaining a proper paper trail and making reconciling your QuickBooks banking activity as simple as possible. To teach you how to record a bounce check in QuickBooks Online, I'll use a sample scenario. Craig's Landscaping issued Kathy an invoice 1016 for $75, and she paid the full invoice with check number 100. Craig's Landscaping recorded the check as received and placed it in undeposited funds, and then deposited the check number 100 along with other customer checks into the checking account. The bank notified Craig that check number 100 was returned for non-sufficient funds, an NSF, and charged an NSF fee of $25. With this scenario, let's go ahead and decrease the checking balance since the $75 check from Cookies by Kathy bounced. I'll do this by recording an expense out of the checking account Click on the white plus new button at the top of the left hand side toolbar and select expense. The expense entry should decrease the bank account balance and increase accounts receivable since the customer, Kathy, now owes Craig's landscaping for the check that bounced. Here's the expense entry to decrease the checking account balance. When finished, click the green Save and Close button. The customer invoice was marked as paid when the original check was received. However, now that the check has bounced, the invoice needs to be reopened and sent to the customer. Navigate to Customers by hovering over Sales in the left menu bar, and then click on Customers. Once you've selected customers, scroll down to find the customer whose check bounced and click on their name to open a list of their transactions. In the list of the customer's transactions, locate the original invoice and the original payment received. Click Closed on the right side of the payment line to open the Receive Payment screen. The Receive Payment screen applies check number 100 to invoice 1016, which is no longer correct since the payment bounced. To reopen the invoice, uncheck the box to the left of the invoice and check the box to the left of the check that was created in step one. Now click the green Save and new button. And the invoice in the transaction list should show a status of open or overdue. Now you can email or print and mail the invoice to the customer. As discussed in my tutorial on how to create and send invoices in QuickBooks Online. Next, record the NSF fee charged by your bank. This fee represents the cost to the bank for processing the bounce check. And it is a cost that customers mostly have to bear as account holders. If this is the first time you're recording an NSF fee, you should first create a service item so that the fee can be marked up and billed to the customer. The details of adding service terms are covered in my guide on how to set up products and services in QuickBooks Online. 
but I'll go ahead and go over them here so that I can talk about the specifics to setting up the NSF fee. Hover over sales in the left hand side toolbar and then click on products and services. From the products and services screen, click the green new button in the upper right corner to create a new product or service. The product or service information screen that appears after clicking new provides the four item types that can be created for products and services. Click on the third item, service. In this screen, go ahead and name the service item NSF fee or something similar. Next, check the box indicating that you are selling this service to your customer. This will make it easier to add an NSF fee to your customer's invoice. Enter a description for the charge you would like to appear on your customer's invoice. Then go ahead and input the amount you would like to charge your customers for a bounce check. This doesn't necessarily have to be the same amount as the bank charges you. There's nothing wrong with charging the customer for your inconvenience. But it's a good idea to state your charge for return checks at the bottom of all of your invoices. Then go ahead and select the income account where you want to record the fees collected from your customers. Select non-taxable if NSF fees charged to clients aren't subject to sales tax in your state. Then go ahead and scroll down to complete the purchasing information for the NSF fee service item. Check the box to indicate that you purchased this item or product from a vendor. Provide a description to appear on your internal purchase and expense forms. Go ahead and enter the amount of your bank's NSF fee under the cost. And in the expense account, select the expense account where you want to record the NSF fee charged to you by your bank. When you're finished, click the green Save and Closed button. Now that I have created a service item for the NSF fee, recording the expense of the fee will be easy. Open a new expense screen by clicking on the plus new button at the top of the left hand side toolbar and selecting Expense the same as done in step one. Here's an example of how to record the NSF fee for the sample scenario that we created with Craig's Landscaping. Under the payee, select the bank that charged you the NSF fee. If the bank isn't yet set up as a customer, go ahead and select Add New and provide the bank's information. Then select the account where the NSF fee was charged. Make sure you enter the date the NSF fee was charged to you. And for the payment method, select Cash. Under the item details, not category details, Select the NSF fee item that you set up in the first part of this step. Once you select the item, the description, quantity, rate, and amount will populate automatically based on the information you provided when you set this up in your products and services. If you want to charge your client a fee for the bounce check, place a check mark under billable. This will populate the sales amount field automatically. This box must be checked for the charge to be available when you create a customer invoice in the next step. If you mark the expense as billable, you must select a customer whose check bounced. When you've finished entering the data, click the green Save and Close button. If you want to bill your client for an NSF fee, then continue on to step four. Otherwise, you're done recording the bounce check activity. 
The last step to bill your customer an NSF fee, which is optional, is to click on the white plus new button at the top of the left-hand side toolbar and select invoice under customers in the first column. A new invoice screen will appear. In the customer field, select the customer whose check bounced. A list of billable expenses will then appear to the right of the invoice. Locate the billable NSF fee that you created in the prior step and click add. The billable expense will populate the billing detail of the invoice automatically. Here's the completed invoice screen for our example with Craig's Landscaping. Go ahead and click save and send to finish the process. For additional information on saving, printing, and emailing invoices, review my previous tutorial on how to create and send invoices in QuickBooks Online. One key feature of QuickBooks Online, the best small business accounting software, is bounce check management, which is helpful for businesses that receive payments by check. When a check bounces, the bank balance that's shown in the QuickBooks Online is overstated since the bounce check is shown as a deposit. It's important to adjust your QuickBooks bank balance immediately so that the correct amount is displayed. Also, recording a bounce check in QuickBooks Online allows you to track the fees and charges associated with the bounce check. When a check bounces, your bank may charge you a fee, and you may also need to bill the customer who wrote the bad check. For more business resources, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks online coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.